Welcome! The following video will demonstrate how to program a GoControl Z-Wave battery-powered thermostat into a GC2 security panel. It is recommended to first install the GoControl Z-Wave battery-powered thermostat into its final location before you begin programming. Connect the common wire between the thermostat and the current HVAC system. This will allow you to use the current HVAC system's 24 volt AC power to operate the thermostat. Note, you have the option of powering up the thermostat via the four AA batteries instead of using the existing HVAC system's power. This is not recommended because it will prevent you from being able to use the thermostat as a Z-Wave repeater. To begin programming the Z-Wave thermostat into the GC2 panel, Ensure the panel and device are within 5 feet of each other. If needed, disconnect the panel from AC power and walk the panel over to the location of the thermostat. The panel will continue to run via the backup battery. Next, navigate to the GC2 Z-Wave Toolbox. Press the Services button. Then press Z-Wave. Press the wrench icon. Enter the installer code. The default installer code for the GC2 is 1, 5, 6, 1. You are now in the Z-Wave toolbox. Z-Wave devices, such as the Z-Wave thermostat, may need to have past programming removed before they can be added to a panel, even if they are new. We do this by performing the removal process, which is also known as exclusion. To begin the removal process, Select the Remove Devices button. The Remove Z-Wave Devices screen will appear. Press and hold the Thermostat's Fan button for 5 seconds. You will see Setup display on the Thermostat's screen. Press the up or down arrows until Z-Wave displays on screen. Choose Select by pressing the Mode button. Install will display on screen. Choose Select by pressing the Mode button. You will see the message Done display on screen once the thermostat is removed. The GC2 panel will also display a notification on screen that the device was removed. Press OK. Press Back. Now you can add the thermostat. Press Add Devices. The Add Z-Wave Devices screen will appear. Press and hold the thermostat's fan button for 5 seconds. You will see Setup display on the thermostat screen. Press the up or down arrows until Z-Wave displays on screen. Choose Select by pressing the Mode button. Install will display on screen. Choose Select by pressing the Mode button. You will see the message Wait, Success, and Done flash on screen. The GC2 panel will display a notification on screen that the panel is querying device information. Do not exit the screen until you see the details of the thermostat display. Press back to return to the Z-Wave toolbox. If you have any additional Z-Wave devices, add them to the panel, then Install the panel and all Z-Wave devices into their final locations. Lastly, complete a network rediscovery. During network rediscovery, the panel will recreate its Z-Wave routing table and optimize the mesh Z-Wave network. To initiate a network rediscovery, navigate to the Z-Wave toolbox, then press Advanced Toolbox. Press Rediscover Network. The panel will display a message that it is rediscovering the Z-Wave devices. Then the panel will automatically redirect you back to the Advanced Z-Wave Toolbox. Note, the panel will continue to run the network rediscovery process in the background. Network rediscovery will take around 1 to 2 minutes per Z-Wave device. Z-Wave services may be unavailable until network rediscovery is complete. Press the Home button on the panel. The GoControl Z-Wave battery-powered thermostat has now been programmed into a GC2 panel.
Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.